Hello fellow humans and welcome back to my channel. So today we're just going to relax and have a nice cup of tea. If you drink tea, you should go get one. Pause the video, go heat up some tea in a nice little mug, whatever kind of tea you like, black tea, green tea, herbal tea. I am drinking Bigelow's Lemon Ginger Herbal Tea because I like tea. So go ahead, pause the video, I'll give you a nice little screen to look at while I wait. You ready? You have your tea? Okay. So how was your day? Hopefully great. Mine was... okay. It was Monday. Um, I had a great weekend though. On Saturday I went to a play party with my friends and got to do lots of fun, terrible things, um, including having rubber bands used on me for the first time, which was terrible. And by terrible, I mean great. It just hurt a lot. Um, so that was fun. Did a bunch of rope. Uh, tied four different suspensions, including one self-suspension. And then on Sunday, it was my dear friend's wedding, and so drove up to this really cute um, railroad museum, and the wedding actually took place in one of the cars, and it was just really cool and really sweet, and I was glad to be there. And that was my weekend. And then today, Monday, I went back to work and just feeling very mellow. I've also been talking to some people I know who know more about it than me, because um, I really do need to get some editing software, which is one thing I realized because I was talking about this channel over the weekend, actually at the wedding because my um, friend from I've known for forever since high school, middle school even, uh, she came as my date for the wedding because Matt was at work and I didn't really know anybody at the wedding so I made her come with me and hey, free food. So I was talking to her about the channel and uh, we were discussing my horrible lack of editing and I mentioned it was because I just don't have the software for it. And so my goal for tonight is to look into some of the programs her boyfriend mentioned because he's very film savvy. So I'm curious to look into that because the reason why I've not been uploading the videos that I've been wanting to make is because it's really hard to do them without being able to edit them. Like, both the self-suspension videos I've posted are boring because there's no music. So I need to get some royalty-free music I can play in the background during those. I'm thinking about just doing, like, some really old classical songs, like, classical, like, orchestral things. I always actually really enjoy tying to that kind of music. So I want to do that for my next self-suspension video because I know that it needs music and it's just weird without it and boring and like creaky, you just hear rope hitting the floor and it'd be a lot better if I could just edit, cut out the boring bits and do like a music over whatever. So I know, I'm aware. So don't think that I upload these things thinking that they're amazing. I know, I know it needs work. I'm still baby YouTuber bear with me for a little while longer. And that was another thing I was thinking about is I've had a lot of like weird stress on myself in regards to this channel and that's why I haven't been uploading videos so much lately because I feel like people probably want me to be the girl who does rope but realistically what I want to do is be the vlogger who happens to do rope. Like I want this channel to be about whatever I happen to be into at the time, whether it be, you know, BDSM related with the paracord whips, rope, shibari, impact, whatever. But I do a lot of other things. I mean, I'm sitting here in my Pusheen sweater because with my Pusheen blankets in the background and Pusheen stuffed animals because I love Pusheen. So I'm gonna, my next subscription box, the payment just came out of my account, so that'll be showing up in about the next month or so, so that'll be exciting. But the things like that, like I just wanted to be about things I'm interested in, and I don't know why I've put myself in this box of what I think people want my channel to be, when like, it's my channel, I should 
just kind of upload what I want and hope and like, you know, take in your comments if you're like, oh, you know, this was better than this or, oh, maybe do this. Like, I like suggestions, but simultaneously I don't want to be stuck in this box and feel like I can only upload certain kinds of things. For example, um, I did just start a new project this morning that I'm excited about. I hope this isn't loud. I'm putting the tea down. Eh. Uh, so we have the door. This is like kind of a big apartment complexy type building that uh, we live in. And the door to the main hallway, like there's, you know, like door draft, whatever. Like if the door doesn't touch the floor, so some air comes in between. And the people around here apparently can't cook very well because it tends to just smell like burnt food a lot and it's just very unpleasant especially since um, my partner here has such a tender nose and so right now there's kind of just like a blanket shoved against the bottom of the door which is visually unattractive and means I can't use that blanket and if you haven't noticed the girl wearing a sweater mid-June I get cold really easily so I like to use blankets and I'm sad I can't use the ones that shoved against the door. So I had this idea to crochet, I wanted to crochet like a door draft jam stopper thing. Like, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen them at like some people's houses, like some kind of like tube thing filled with something heavy, like rice or dried beans or whatever. And I want to make a cute one, but I don't want to like spend money on it. I wanted to use materials that I already had. So I have a huge yarn stash. And so I gathered up some of my yarns and my plan was to crochet like a big long snake dude out of like blue toned yarns and like give him like a red felt tongue and be like live with like big cute eyes. And I started it this morning and I already got pretty far, honestly. Like, here's where I am. Wow. So we've got his head and then you see he's kind of like stripey. I've got like this dark blue, then a purple, then a lighter blue. And I'm just going to keep striping them and just keep going until he's long enough to suit his purpose. But I'm pretty happy with the way he's coming out so far. It's like, Ugh. He'll be much cuter when he has a face, but he's very soft and I like the colors and he'll be purpose, he'll have a use and I'm going to wait to name him until he's finished and then maybe, maybe you can help. But for now, this is where I'm at and that's going to be my go-to lay around work on stuff project. I'm also very, very stiffly because I'm very allergic to things. I'm gonna probably be sniffly all spring and summer, but I don't like taking allergy medication because it's really expensive. If you have tea, take a sip with me. Mm. It's actually really good. I haven't tried this one yet. I just went out and bought four different kinds of tea. Um, if you watched my last weight loss update video, um, you might have heard me mention that I was doing intermittent fasting, which means that I don't eat at night. I'm only consuming calories in the morning. And yes, that is on purpose. There is lots of research showing that it's actually very good for weight loss. And in uh, long term, it's very actually healthy. Um, as long as you're consuming enough calories. If you're not consuming enough calories, then you can go into starvation mode and things like that. So I'm very careful to eat an appropriate amount of calories in the morning, but I do track what I eat. But it means that, you know, I'm still somewhat adjusting. I'm, it's not nearly as bad as it was when I first started. It's been like maybe a week and a half now. But when I'm home at night and I'm hungry, I needed something that didn't have calories in it to just kind of like tide me over. And I thought hot tea was a great option. So I picked up four different kinds of tea. There's this one, which is the lemon ginger. I also got a salted caramel that was surprisingly good. I got um, pumpkin spice because I actually really like pumpkin spice. And the last one was something. Oh, it was uh, lemon lavender. I've never had lavender tea before, but it's very, very pleasant. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and have like a warm cup of tea as my after, I say afternoon, I get home from work between 11 and 11.30 at night, so like my midnight cup of tea, which is kind of my evening time. 
Alas, the life of a vampire. Tis a lonely one. But that's why you're here. And that's why I'm here. That's why we're all here, to keep each other company in the wee hours of the night. Although, theoretically, you could just be day people and watch this video at regular hours and then just wonder why I upload it in the middle of the night. Eh. What will be, will be. So, yeah, I thought it might be... So, I'm gonna try and stress less about what I'm uploading and just what I... Just keep you part of my day-to-day -day life, whatever that day's activities might be. Today it was crocheting Snake Dude and drinking tea in a Pusheen sweater. Um, the rope videos, I will be a lot less stressed about making more tutorials when I get the editing software because there's just parts that don't need to be shown and make the videos really long and kind of boring and if I could just edit it to actually be concise and useful I think it'll be a lot better so I'd rather wait and put out higher quality videos for you all than just do something for the sake of doing something so we'll hold off on uploading more of those for a little while I'll still probably do some self-suspension videos because, honestly, um, I kind of like the idea of doing those almost like a live stream, which maybe one day we'll actually go live and do it, but um, I don't really care if those are edited super great. I just want to get some kind of background music in them, and then those will be spot on. But that is my Monday. I hope your Monday is going well. I'm going to continue drinking this cup of tea, probably work on Snake Dude for a little bit, and then go to sleep because Tuesdays are one of our predetermined gym days, which means I need to get up at a reasonable hour, which means I need to go to sleep at a reasonable hour. And I'm also curious how interested you guys are in me doing like weight loss updates because like, I enjoy watching channels about that sort of topic, and it is a part of my day-to-day -day life, so I guess I probably should include it in these, like, little vloggy-type things. And the Fitbit here makes that a lot easier, although it's after midnight now, so it's a new day according to Mr. Fitbit. But I was pretty good today. Um, I did under-eat a little bit. I just wasn't, like, hungry enough to eat this morning, so I only had, like... 1200 calories today rather than the 1600 I was aiming for and then throughout the course of the day I burned something like 23 2400 so I was at like 8,000 steps from between work and whatever today um I weighed myself this morning I haven't really lost any more weight I'm still kind of like right at that 199 mark so try not to focus on that too much just focusing on keeping up with my fasting because it does make me feel good and it helps me control um, my urges to indulge my eating disorder. So enjoying this tea will help with that because I am fairly hungry right now but I really don't want to eat especially where I'm about to go to bed soon. And I'd be much, I kind of manage it the best by knowing tomorrow morning I will wake up proud of myself and be able to eat pretty much whatever I want for breakfast versus indulging in it right now means I'll just wake up disappointed tomorrow and then feel like garbage. So it's working for me. I'm going to keep doing it for a while, see how it goes. And yeah. That's pretty much my day. Not not really anything super interesting update you want, except for Snake Dude. I'm just really excited about Snake Dude. I'm gonna fill him with like rice probably. Like I'll probably make some sort of inner tube out of fabric and fill it with rice so that he's nice and heavy to like stop up against the door. So I'm gonna work on Snake Dude tonight and we'll see how far I get and maybe I will show you how different he looks between today and tomorrow. Until then, fellow humans, I hope you have a good night. Please do subscribe to see how Snake Dude progresses, and I will catch you next time. Bye! Here's my eye.